Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about property qualifier in Pega. Let's get started into the topic. So property qualifiers are the instances of rule OBJ property qualifier. They are actually very useful for a few of the scenarios while setting some values on a property. And property qualifiers uh, is like a supplement information to a property with additional capabilities and restrictions. So before setting some value to a property and you want to check whether these values uh, are related to this property or not. To determine that Pega has come up with a feature called as property qualifier. Under records explorer data model, under property qualifier you can see the list of property qualifiers available in the system. For example here PY decimal precision is one of the OOTB property qualifiers. So these are all the property qualifiers. For example, this one I have picked. If you see here history, the qualifier contains the number of places of decimal portion for the associated property. And this is useful for string or decimal. Why? Because in definition type of property qualifier, you can see here what is the string type. Whether it is integer, text, identifier, password or decimal, date, time or encrypted text, whatever is applicable, you can select that. And here, this is table data type. I will be discussing with another property and this is history. So you take an example. Suppose there is a value cost which is having a value of 6.4834567 something like that. So for that you want the for that you want the value to be restricted just two digits after precision. Then you can define this particular PY decimal position under the property. So where we will refer this property qualifier. That is the second step. Now I have defined a property called as weighted score. I have given it as decimal property. And in advanced tab, if you see here, there are separate tabs like validation, persistence, security and property qualifiers. So I have referred PY decimal precision property qualifier. Just you click on plus, you can see qualifiers, list of qualifiers available. So I have given this PV decimal position. Yeah, as it is already there, it is not available. Yeah, now I have two digits. So let's test this. This is data transform where I am setting weighted score as 4.6753736. Here, if I did not define any precision, the value of weighted score will be the entire value. Now I have defined this precision for two digits as a property qualifier. Now I am running this. See here, weighted score is 4.68. Why? Because I have given decimal precision as 2. So in this way, you can uh, define your PV decimal precision. This is OOTB. So can we create a new property qualifier? Absolutely yes. So I have created a property qualifier like concern status qualifier. So I have a concern status property. Okay. So this property holds the value of concern status. So I have created a property qualifier concern status qualifier and I have defined it as string type text and under table edit there are different options like none, local list, field value, class key value these are the different uh, parameters we have to pass for respect to selection this is remote list and here you can give combination of key field and values prompt list you can add plus and you can add this value and prompt value data page if you have so for now i have defined uh, local list and I have given new, pending, granted, denied, expired. So when I try to set the concern status value with some other value, it would actually throw error. So in this way, you can define qualifiers and you can uh, tag them to respect to property under advanced tab. And you can give your qualifier name. Okay. And uh, for this particular concern status, I don't want this to be included as input field. So in security tab, I have selected this. 
so that uh, user can't enter any value it's like an uh, setting that we do uh, during execution of our process and these are different uh, otb property qualifiers we have in the system you can just click on this and go to history tab and you can see and another strong thing is suppose you have defined a property qualifier of type text and you are referring this py currency to some decimal or to integer property it won't work you have to be make sure that property and property qualifier string type should be same that is very key thing while defining property and property qualifier that's why they have specified like add this qualifier to a string property the qualifier is ignored on any other type of property so you have to be so careful on defining the new property qualifier under and see here py rule type is a property qualifier of type identity maximum length is 56 so when you are defining some class name you will get an error you are uh, working on some connectors integration at that time when you define the class name if the maximum length of the class name exceeds 56 we would be facing some error so in that scenario see this would be useful to restrict users or to restrict developers uh, to make sure that class name should not cross maximum length of 56 we can see uh, where this property qualifier is referred as well this py minimum length this is edit valid rule we have py minimum length you can open that so here it is a java code like they were uh, seeing like at least uh, the length of the property should be greater than zero we should not be giving a null value or something in that scenarios for the respective property you can use this property qualifier and indeed it will check this edit valid rule also there are two ways like under property also you can give some additional edit valid rule here and if it is already defined in property qualifier you no need to worry about that so this is all about property qualifier hope you have understood this and uh, you will try to use this and please provide your feedback in the comment section of this video thanks for watching thanks for watching this video please share subscribe and like the videos